progress report. It's your girl, Lila Shepard. Hey, boss, but the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel, and this is the progress report. We ain't staying now. Tune in every time. Uh, we don't do no cap. Report only facts. What's up? It's your girl, Callie, and I just wrapped up my interview on Progress Report Podcast. The Progress Report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is another episode of The Progress Report. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, DJ Excel, and we got a special guest today. Yes, we do. Callie. Hey! Say, oh, she say. better do it. I can, I can. Okay. <laughs> Callie, welcome to the platform. We are huge fans, and we are super excited that we finally get the interview. So salute to your team. We appreciate this. Thank y'all for having me. And we are going to have fun today, okay? Yeah. All right. She's so nervous, y'all. She's nervous. (laughs) Callie said, yeah. She made me nervous. (laughs) See, Excel. But no, we're going to have fun. We're actually going to do an icebreaker game first, you know, have some fun. So we know that you are Miss Toxic Chocolate. So... With this game, pretty much, you're going to say if something is toxic or if it's not toxic. Okay. All right? Okay. So we're just going to read a couple of things out of here. <clears throat> it's, it's the pencil box for me. <laughs> I'm nervous. Look. <laughs> All right. Ghosting someone after a one-night stand. That's, that's not toxic. Okay. Yeah. How? You that's think it's toxic? toxic? Yes. So, wait. You, what, what you want to do after a one-night stand, Excel? I mean, if God we know damn, it's a one-night stand. Then, so we like, what go- is that to talk about? So yes. we're going to just ghost it. It's just never. It's just. Because, like, if we got something to talk about, that means that Y'all it's not a me. one-night stand. That you, go, you, you know, we it's see something. We don't see something. You know, I don't see nothing in you. Y'all making me you nervous. You probably see something <laughs> in me, but I don't see nothing in you. So like, give it no potential. <laughs> yeah. Period. I just feel like, I just feel like if. If it's feel like that, like maybe the one night stand shouldn't be there. Like that's giving. Exhale, damn. She she is married though, so yeah, we gotta give her grace. Hold on, give her grace. Me too. Okay. Oh shit. (laughs) No. Who you married to? Period. Can you do it? No. no, no, no. Hey, we supposed to be friends. We supposed to be friends. All right. Okay. We gonna keep that under wraps. All right. I do got one question though. If it's a one night stand, so y'all not we not checking no papers or nothing. Wait, wait, you're doing a lot. It just see that's I mean, the but problem. I get it. Y'all don't be doing okay. enough. No, I get it. I get Excel. what you're saying, I do too. but like, don't make us feel like that right, right now. Right, right, right. right. All right, all right. That's a lot. We, we in like, a toxic conversation. Yeah. <laughs> my bad, my so, bad. So pretty much, all right, cool. That's yeah. that's not toxic, right. and I agree. Yeah. Period. All right. Going back to an ex that's on and off again. Mm, toxic. Yeah. Facts. Toxic. For sure. Having a side boo while in a relationship. Toxic. Okay. No, you're not toxic. You just a cheater. Mm. You a hoe. Okay, Damn. you a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> that that I'm sorry. <laughs> you are a hoe. Damn. <laughs> All right. Eating greasy food while on a diet. That's not toxic. Okay. That's just that's regular human stuff, right? Because I still do it. Cause I say I ain't gonna drink for a week, and I still be drinking. Girl, we toxic. It's toxic. We as hell. That's not Callie. toxic. Yes, I don't Callie. think. Ah, right, listen, it's not toxic for me. Okay, wow. Okay. Okay. I figured out one of these weeks. Okay. <laughs> not paying for your partner's kids' happy meals, and they not your biological kids. How long we been in this relationship? <laughs> that's your partner. That's not the one night nice thing. Oh, yeah, that's no, no, your no. partner, though. Are we married? No, not necessarily. Damn, you gotta be married. Yes. Wow. Them are not my kids until them is my kids. So no, McDonald's. Not, not my kids. It's <laughs> wait. No, like you have kids. Okay, that's you and your baby mama's kids. Like I'm working. I'm doing my own thing. I ain't got no problems with what y'all got going on. Just make sure you're taking your kids, taking care of your kids. But until you put a ring on my finger, they ain't my them kids. is not my step kids. <laughs> Them is not my kids. God damn, they got to wow. be your stepkids to give them McDonald's? Yes. <laughs> Period. I feel that. Fuck it. So that's Period. not toxic. No, but like, it's not like, for real. Yeah. I'm not married. Sorry. Uh, I feel that. Right. Lo- lo- love you, though. <laughs> love not you, the though. kids. Yeah. But not love the Love you, though. <laughs> damn. damn. Okay. I love you and what comes with you. Right. All right. But right now, that's just. Until there's a ring on my finger, and I'm like, eh. Then them kids is, eh. Period. <laughs> we want you to come skip class with us and share your story on our new segment called Skipping Class. Look, we want to talk to all the artists, indie or mainstream, or if you're an entrepreneur, come build your brand with us and tell your story to the world. 
And you'll also get the shot in our locker and you'll get promo clips for all your fans. So DM us today or visit our website, tprmediagroup.com. Get locked in with us. <laughs> harsh. Am I? That's bad? I don't think that's bad because, you know, men come and go, women come and go, you know, you don't want to get attached to nobody because I'm I the type that, that get close to people. Yeah. Like, for real, like, if I love you, I love you for real. Like, I don't want to be your girlfriend and I'll get close to your daughter and I'll be like. I feel that too. So do you be like, don't, like, you don't want to meet the kids? Until we married. Hold up. Damn. So you not me and the kids? No, no, no. Fiance vibes. Like, yeah, like, we planning on live, spending the rest of our lives together. Other than that, okay. I'm cool because, like. Because mm. the kid might be a Dennis, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> that I'm too. not marrying you if you got you a Dennis nah, the Menace. Nah, that's facts, too. That's facts. <laughs> that's, that is a I thing. I had a, Dennis the, a girl with a Dennis the Menace kid. They yeah. probably just running your ass. And, like, you, Wild. Know, you, get close to, you get close to people. I don't want to get, like, dang, like, I'm checking on the kid. Yeah. Like, what's going on? You never know. They could be telling you about your situation. You know how kids be. Like, my, my mama don't do this. And right. now, you, now you taking them, and you be like, and we break up. Then we like, dang. Now, true. I, now I'm worried about little TT. Like, that's true. <laughs> that's no. true. Hey. That's facts, though. Yeah. That's facts. I hate when people be trying to, like, hold on to that relationship. Like, once that relationship is done, y'all got to let go Ooh, of the I kids. Had, I had a stepdad like that. Mm. Like, he kept calling me, like, please. Was it Aww. awkward for you, or did you want him to? Okay, when when they first got married, like, I wanted him to be, like, that daddy. Yeah. But then I got older and was like, who is this man? Oh, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I love my daddy. Like, sorry. Like, oh, uh, yeah. So then, yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about, I'm loyal to my mama. So my mama yeah. don't mess with you. True. I don't mess with you either. So That's a why fact. are you calling my phone? That's fact. At okay. that point, I just why are you trying to get me to get me to tell my mama about oh, you? Oh, yeah, nah. I'm not the one for that. I'm going to let you know that she don't like you. <laughs> and neither do I. Period. Hey, she not holding back. I ain't mad, <laughs> I ain't mad at that. You made a good point. Like, yeah. yeah. That's facts. I'm right, right with my mom. Last one. Share locations with your partner is fun. That ain't toxic. I do that, so. He know exactly where you at. He like, you at the progress report? Right. And, and Tell he him is. to come up, okay? <laughs> okay. And I do too. You at home? Okay. I'm zoom in. Oh, my if God. If I don't know the address, I'm putting it in Google Maps. And I want to oh see the live goodness. location. Hey, I said. <laughs> oh, my God, hey, Callie. I said, I said, I'll be kind of hesitant on that, right? Because, like, <laughs> My mom be going other places, and I think I create scenarios. I do, too. Like, like, if you told me you were going to the gas station, but it looked like you were two blocks down, but really you just went to the liquor store real quick. Yeah. Now I'm really thinking, like, why you lied to me? Yeah, That's and fact. what you going to get liquor for? Like, okay. who you getting lit with? <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> listen, I'm all about communication. Like, mm. for real, I'm going to let you know, like, mm, you know, maybe was something wrong with your phone, but I wouldn't know that right now. So where you at? Like, <laughs> Why are you at the liquor store? What so you, you get liquor for? You don't even drink for real. So what's the tea? <laughs> hey, you talking? Hey, you talk. Now what's wow. the tea? <laughs> he wanted to get some champagne to celebrate. Right. You talking about what's the tea? You ain't. You right. That's why I I can't do surprises. Okay. So you don't like surprises. I do, but I don't like. Yeah. It's like. I, I pay attention to everything, so I always catch mm, the surprises. Same. So, and I kind of feel like you being sneaky. Like, I don't, if I don't know for real, like, what if I think it's a surprise and you're not really surprising me? Then I'm just like, I done let some shit slide. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm mad because, like, I could have been talked about it, you know? Yeah, I feel but, really funny as hell. <laughs> so, you know, speaking of phones, can you tell us what your uh, toxic hotline is? What is that? Um, basically, it's a number I created. And like my fans could come and talk to me about the stuff they be going through. We all go through stuff, and I, I just really want to talk about it. You know what I mean? Like with other people, like other influencers, like me, who you know we they th everybody think we so perfect or like we don't go through things. Mm. So like I just want to be able to relate to people. Like you know, this is what I be going through too. Like I kick down doors too. Okay. <laughs> we know it. <laughs> what's, what's the craziest story that somebody's probably told you? Um. Uh, her her husband didn't spend Valentine's Day with her um, and their anniversary with her and they spent it with another girl like say that he was oh, working and stuff no. it, it was a hot it was really a hot mess mm. and it was with Sukiana like that episode that was a good one that was funny yeah <laughs> and it was just she did she was like what should I do but it's just like 
you found out everything like girl valentine's day valentine's and your day? anniversary but you with another girl that's 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 wild. crazy we all, you yeah. don't want to be married no more and why you people be- die <laughs> you feeling suicidal <laughs> <laughs> why people be like asking advice for something like that like, you know what to do you just want somebody else to tell you like but you don't be like that because i'd be like that with my friends i was I, gonna say I, I don't want you to actually tell me your opinion yeah. i just want you to listen right like, yeah because exactly. i know what i'm really finna go do yeah she's staying with his ass she is staying with him. I don't him. know if I'm going to stay with him if that's the situation, though. What you mm. staying for? Like, what little mess ups your dude could do? Like, do you, are you like... I don't know. It depends. I'm the type to get over stuff fast. Like, I don't, mm. I don't, I don't hold grudges for real. Like, mm. I'm real like, okay, I live my life. You know, if you don't want me to do something, fix it. Because mm-hmm. if I do it, <laughs> your chest... You gonna be holding on to that whole thing. Long is she? time. So I be I for real, I tell him like, listen, don't do nothing you don't want me to do. That's like facts. literally, cause if I do it, I promise you ain't it's you gonna ain't gonna be as cool more. as me. Yeah. Hey, that shit hit dudes different. They try out like it though, but they ego and shit. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. Trust facts. me, I know. Okay, I, well, let's get into some music stuff, cause you know, um, Callie, you are a dope artist. Uh, I appreciate what you bring to the game, and mm-hmm. I just like the difference that you're making right now. So um, I think a lot of people don't realize that you've been doing music for a long time, yes. and I think, you know, right now, uh, what we got going on with the industry, like a lot of people just getting into it just from social mm-hmm. media, but can you tell the people, like, when did you start doing music? What age were you? Um, I think I started doing music at, like, eight years old. My, um, my stepdad, my mom's ex-husband, he Wait, the one to, that you don't want to talk to no more? She, yeah, yeah. He oh done started her God. career, y'all. She, she said, I do not want to talk to you no more. <laughs> and what about it? <laughs> Period. My All mama right, don't like you. I don't like you no more either. So, okay. Um, yeah, he was in this, like, he had a studio in the house. So I would just always hear him making beats and stuff like that. And I'd be like, you know, I, I used to write in my journal and stuff, but I ain't had no friends. Yes, Moesha. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't had no <laughs> friends for real, and everybody didn't really like me because I was just like that, like that quirky girl that wanted to wear a bunch of neon colors and high socks and orange stuff up there, oh. and my locks was different colors, and I wanted mm. to just like extra. I thought I was Nicki Minaj. Okay. okay. But um, yeah. So I was just like, I'm writing in my journal, and I really want to like try to rap. Mm-hmm. And so he would just help me. He taught me how to record at like a young age, like express yourself, like mm. don't be shy, you know, like how to sound on the mic. So when I started really taking it serious in like 2018, um, it was easy like being yeah. on the mic. Like it was just like, okay, this was you're supposed to be doing. Mm. Yeah. Did you like how your voice sounded at first or was it awkward for you? Yeah, it was high, like super high. Like, <laughs> I, like I'm, I'm energetic. Like I was trying to be energetic. Like I used to listen to Rico Nasty, like um, Tay Money, Missy Elliott, mm. like just like real like high energy vibes. Mm. Mm. And, and then I found like that's not me like you know like yeah. I'm I'm I be chilling like yeah. this how I, I like to miss I like to listen to music that folks be chilling you know yeah so yeah nah respect um what would you say has been like your breakout moment where you felt like you know I'm arriving I'm making progress and becoming that household name um I think it was after I dropped do it be on TikTok and yeah. it started going viral and I kept seeing it everywhere like people was calling me like oh this label want to talk to you or this person it was this label they want to talk to you or I keep seeing this down everywhere like that was that was the moment I was like okay like I'm doing my thing but then when mm-mm dropped and like I started performing it and I was just like not having to say no words the whole Crazy. time it was like super cool like it's like dang this is what I really I worked hard for you know yeah my first time where I didn't really have to say anything it was a light show I was like <laughs> I want to cry like yeah. girl like Mm-mm, for real, yeah. they get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think that record, that's when I really, really got introduced to you, honestly. Like, and yeah. I'm like, I fuck with the beat, you know, ATL Jacob. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, this shit is hard as fuck. Yeah. Like, and just so, different. Yeah, just, just, just different. some different shit. Like, so I know you had described the story a million times, but talk about, you know, creating that record, though. Um, I, We was in Miami, uh, me and ATL Jacob, and, uh, like we had been recording like every day out there and it was like on it had hit the weekend i'm like it's high outside <laughs> you know you go to miami you want to get on a boat mm-hmm. you know you want to be outside 
and I'm like, yeah, let's go outside. Like, let's go get on a boat. You know, I'm trying to vibe for real. He like, no, you need that next one. Hmm. Like, let's get in. I'm like, oh, uh, what's up? He knows something. Okay. I'm like, okay, bet. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and he like, uh, he making a beat, and I'm like, I can't think of nothing. And I kept saying, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like just like that. And he was like, come on, just say something. I'm like, okay. Well, I ain't never, I ain't never heard nobody say like, mm, 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 mm. on like a track before. Mm. He's like, okay, just go get in the booth. Just, <laughs> just say something. And so I was like, okay, what you think they're gonna get it? Like if I say, mm, mm, like who, who you hitting with? Mm, mm. He was like, say that. I'm gonna hit him with her. Yeah. You crazy. know. So then it just, it was just real. We, when we finished the song, he was like, get on live. This the one. I swear mm. to God. And I was like, you for real? I'm like, he like, yeah, nah, this the one. He was so excited. He couldn't even go. He couldn't even go to sleep. He just wanted to stay up all night and listen to the song. So how long after you recorded it did you drop it? Um, I think like. Seven months, eight months. Okay, I, I was asking you that because we interview so many people that say like they they hit the studio and they go on live. Mm -hmm. Now all their fans don't want to hear nothing else but that damn song. Exactly. They heard. Listen to me off though. I ain't gonna lie, Callie. I do be mad because I'm like, yo, I want this record now. Yeah, seven and I months. I teased it too. I teased it twice, and both times it went viral. Damn, crazy. And then they was just like, where? When you gonna drop the song? And so I'm. Like, as an artist, I be thinking, like, okay, when I drop it, is they going to be, like, is they still going to have the same type of energy, mm -hmm. like, when I first snippet it? Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, snippet it. <laughs> oh, teased it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a hard that time. I'm just silly. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> um, when I first teased it, and then it was the same energy. Like, it was yeah. even more, like, oh, we been ready for this song. So, yeah. it was a vibe. And um, how did you get the remix? Yeah. Um, Lotto hit me in DMs because I had been talking about a remix for a long time, you know, word travels. I'm like, I want to do a remix to mm -mm. And she hit me and she was like, oh, I heard you want to do a remix. Like, I want to <laughs> do, I'm down to do it. Like, right. let me know. Because mm -hmm. it was two females I wanted. It was Lotto and Nikki on there. And so mm -hmm. Lotto hit me. I was like, okay, bet. And then Jacob had a connection with um, Moneybag. And I yeah. said I wanted a male perspective. And he was the one male that yeah. I really wanted Moneybag on the track. Hard. Um, Cause I feel like he just talked to the bad bees like yeah. on accident, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, nah, he, yeah, he, yeah. I like how, like, on some DJ shit, I like how he came in and and it kind of just it made it feel like a remix. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Rather than him coming in later, yeah. You know, so uh, yeah, I I like that. And did you feel like that remix even took it up another yeah. notch? Yeah, yeah it, it added a different vibe to it. I feel like it was just, it it was exactly what I wanted it to be. Word. Yeah, absolutely. And, and speaking of Lotto, we actually came to the North Carolina show with Asian A, yeah. uh, Lotto, Saucy, yeah. and got to see all y'all live in concert, which was super dope, by the way. But talk about learning that you was gonna be going on tour with them. You know, talk about that. Um, it was exciting. Like I I heard I was like it was like you going on tour with Lotto. That's I'm hard. Like, I'm like for real, like it's my first tour. I was really, I was really mm. nervous, like performing every single day, like just being in front of different crowds, different cities. You never know what the vibe gonna be. If people gonna know you, if they not gonna know you. That's so I, I was just, I was nervous, but um, she made me feel uh, welcome, you know, on live when we had announced that we was going on tour. Mm. Saucy too. It was, it was a vibe. I learned, you know, how to just keep the same energy throughout the whole tour. Mm. Yeah. What city do you feel like showed the most love, or what city for you was like most exciting? Um, Chicago was real exciting. Mm. Uh, Salt Lake City was exciting. Utah? Yeah. Really? <laughs> that was a vibe. I remember <laughs> that for real because they was Damn. like, they was going crazy. What was the crowd like? Was it, was it like as far as color? Like, was it like mixed? <laughs> I'm just curious. It was mixed. For okay. Sure. Yeah. It was, you know, black, white, mixed skin. Like, you know, it they was. They be turning up, though. Yeah. The other races. Yeah. Like, they yeah. were screaming, like, whether I move my foot, they was like, <laughs> girl, ooh, I like how she moved her foot. <laughs> okay. Like, vibe, like that. Right. Like, That's what's up. It was a vibe, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, we got to talk about these pranks. We had uh, Lotto's DJ, DJ Von, up here. He was telling us how, you know, all the pranks and stuff, you know. So, how did you feel about your prank and what did they do to you? Yeah, I wasn't feeling my prank. Okay. I, I wasn't, but you know, I'm I'm all about keeping the positive vibes and For just sure. like moving moving forward. I know what I can to do. Um, they threw tissue at me. 
That's kind of degrading, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That's outside of a prank. That's like boo, kind of. Yeah. Like, right? Yeah. Like, that's what I thought for about For me, it was that. like looking from the outside in. Like, if somebody wasn't at the concert or mm. they didn't know really what was going on, it could have been like they was actually booing me. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. And then that gives people open to be like, oh, yeah, Kelly suck. Like, oh, mm. yeah, I want to throw a tissue at her, too. Like, I just thought that was like, that wasn't a prank to me. That just, that kind of showed me like, oh, that's how you feel? Oh, yeah, man. that that was for me though. But like, when it happened, I was just like, you know, me and my my management, my team, we like we Beyonce to the BS. Like we Period. we just be like, it's whatever, it's cool. We gonna keep it pushing. Like on my tour, I just when I wouldn't do artists like that. Like it's, especially because this might like as much as y'all been on the road and hitting every city. This is the first time somebody's seen y'all right. yeah, in that city, and this might be your first introduction, especially as a new artist. You know, like on the come up. Yeah, I I didn't think that I ain't like that one. Yeah, and, like the dog, the little dog for saucy. Okay, that that's sense. that might be a little something, whatever. Yeah, but, but tissue ain't got nothing nah. to do with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I used to True. throw like like t- like t- I was a badass little kid yeah, first yeah, of all, but. Like, you would go to people's yards and throw them over the trees and Excel. shit. And you was doing that. Hell yeah. But it, it kind of taught me, like, you know, how to, like, perform and be on the spot. Like, mm-hmm. when something happens, you know, like, keep okay, going. like, yeah, you got to keep going. You got to keep showing them, like, you ain't even phased by this. Like, mm. they got to get on, you know. Yeah. Like, it, it kind of helped me with that. I was just kind of trying to look at it, like, as I wasn't trying to be mad. I'm not one of those people that, that be trying to be mad, but I was. I'm not going to lie. I was of pissed course. off, like, but... It is what it is, you know. You know, people handle things differently, and they do things differently, so. Yeah, and it's just like the internet, like, when you want to come up, you don't want to have to explain everything. Exactly. But shit like that, you got to explain. Because y'all don't see me on the internet, yeah. like, that's for real, true. explaining stuff. Right, like, no, that's And I still didn't after that. Like, I don't, I'm not into that. So, so. also explain the whole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but see, when I talked to DJ Vine, when we did the interview, I said, now look, I don't know. Because I'm like, you got to respect that everybody don't like to do pranks yeah. and shit. And it's like, you know, I get it. They say that's like a ritual when you're yeah. on tour, it happens. But I'm like, listen. I ain't never seen nobody with that ritual. But that's just me. Yeah. And I wouldn't personally, it could have did, you could have did that after I got off the stage. I feel you. Like not wow! Like this is people. This is my. This is literally how I feed my family. This is how I. This is my job. Like, yeah, I respect this that. This is my career. Like, you do that outside. If we cool like that, you know, if we all made a vibe like a bond like that. Like, do that after I get off stage. Like when we at the hotels and we kicking it. Like, yeah, right. you know what I, I mean? That. Or like on my phone or something. Like not in front of like my fans where you kind of put me on the spot. Like. Okay, what what Kelly gonna do now? They throwing mm. tissue at tissue. It is big ass tissue rolls. Like <laughs> not Charmin, <laughs> not the good kind. The thick ones. Like hold on, I need them at my house. Not the name. Okay, oh, that's the name brand. <laughs> let me let me roll the motherfuckers up and take No, back. but hold up. <laughs> Shit. It was kind of like they ain't do nothing a lot though. But see, and I didn't ask that on the interview. But you're right. I didn't repeat that. But you're right. Like I no, just, because yeah. now you nah fuck that. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, you can sip on this. I'll talk my talk. <laughs> Nah, that's fucking white. Because if you want to make everybody else look True. bad, I do the same. That. If it's a ritual, uh, yeah. what's up? And I fuck with Lotto, 100%. Course, we, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if y'all are going to make everybody else look bad and everybody's opening up for Lotto, at least follow up with that. Mm. Come on now. I feel that now. Don't worry. I'll, I'll talk for you. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, now, how did you, like, I know you kept going during that, but how did your fans kind of take that in at that time? Honestly, they was... They they made me feel good. Like they was vibing for me. They was booing the folks. They trying to figure out who who right. the hell throwing tissue at Kelly. I'm ready to fight. I'm like, yeah. Right. So then after that, it, it turned up. It turned mm. up after they like, okay, we gotta go hard for Kelly. That's hard. Like, That's what's up. Cause they ain't finna play with her. Like they was screaming the words word for word. Like, mm. and it was a vibe after that. Like it just made me, it made me notice. Like I really got supporters. You know, yeah, yeah, so, you and they gonna ride for me. They not playing. Damn right. Yeah. And, you know, an, another big milestone that um, you have uh, accomplished was making the double XL list. Mm-hmm. So congratulations on that. Yes. Thank you. And I don't care what nobody say, but that's some big shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Period. Period. Listen. Thank you. Because, you know, what it is, like, people, you know, I think, I, I get it. You know, some people will try to downplay that shit, mm-hmm. but I don't give a fuck. That's the accolade. That's just like getting a plaque. All that shit is big, so don't, you know, right. don't, Man, don't any, overlook it. That shit is huge. Any artist want to be on there. They was it trying is, to make it do. seem like artists, like, oh, they turned it down, or they, like, if they did, nah, okay, that's cool, but listen. that's me, like, ah, this is a big a, deal, nigga. This 
was a yeah, this is a goal for me. Like yeah. when sure. I first signed, like I was like, okay, I double XL. Like, I yeah. need this for me to feel like I'm really stamping myself as an artist right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. who I don't want to be a part of freshman class? They lying. Like, they yeah. they yeah. lying. Come on. It was so it was so super fun. Like even the team at double XL people, they were so great. They were so good. That's like what's up. it, they made me feel so like comfortable. You know mm. what I mean? It was it was perfect for me. Shoot. Sure. Everybody was like, you know, all the it was only three females on there. Hell so. yeah, yeah. But I feel like I held man. my shit. Yeah. Damn. Oh, we gonna get into that freestyle. Period. <laughs> and you friends with Kenna Man. Yeah, right? yeah. We yeah. fuck yeah. with Kenna. I got her too. name Teddy. Really? Let me see. Okay, so let's go to this. Let let's go it. to this. That's Let hard. Show her. Look, oh, no. That's yeah, hard. That's what's up. So hold up. First of all, what made you get Kenna Man name tatted? Except you ain't got me tatted. I know. We about to go into this because she was saying something earlier and I said we're going to hold this for the camera. We're going to hold it. <laughs> because I'm married, right? And me and my wife got like two or three matching tattoos, but we decided not, not two to get... two or three. Yeah. Not to... Well, she got three of me. You I, know what I'm saying? I'm going to need you to match that energy. All right, yeah. All right. Fair. Come on now. <laughs> you need to get all right. All right. Y'all mind your business now. Y'all mind your business. <laughs> you tell them that y'all be... Right. right. Like, you're, right. You're, right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. All right. So, so... But we was like, yo, getting somebody's full name it just never seemed to work out y'all the full name like no if you get somebody not first last <laughs> not, name too long. Name. Not, if you get somebody's name it seemed like you are putting like but y'all married yeah. though yeah we are married so that's how i want to keep i want to stay married mm. that's why i ain't get her name on me but she got your uh, name you thinking too much about it for me she get my name so what she got she, all right, my name is DJ XL, like XL, like I'm a big deal. And she got I'm a big deal on her. Oh, that's cute. Okay. okay. I give it a logo. Like, no, no, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's basically like your name, Teddy. Yeah, but not. <laughs> but not. It's a whole slogan. So what's you, your real name? No, 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 so you don't think there's no jinx to get in a name? Not Ken. I fuck with Ken. Yeah, we fuck with Ken the man. For um, sure. I don't think so. If I'm married, I feel like I would do that. Like, you was a part of my life. Like, even if I gotta get covered up, we get a divorce. I still get covered up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, this is. I'm tired of covering up names. Let's just put it like that. You covered up a name? No, before? I need to. Ooh. Ooh. But I'm waiting on I'm waiting on the right uh the uh, huh? uh tattoo artist. Okay. It was a, it was a girl before. Man, her. yeah, man. That shit. Oh, mean. if I was your wife, I wouldn't even say yes until right, I was covered. Like what? What's that mean? Yeah, but then again, you not buying kids happy meals to get married, <laughs> so we is different. Yeah, you need to get that cover before I say yes. I was I'll say when you when your next tattoo appointment. Okay. Yeah. No, I ain't gonna lie. My wife definitely applied pressure, but I'm it's sure hard to get did. an artist with that does good color. Or cover up Girl, stuff. honey, boom. I swear to God, I swear <laughs> Callie ain't trying to hear that shit. You got one? I need that. I swear to okay. God, I've been looking. I got a couple okay. for you. It I, ain't that hard. Look. Type in tattoo on Instagram. <laughs> Girl, I have. No, I ain't going to lie. Look, so I went to a dude for a consultation. Do you know? And his artwork looked dope. Do you know? He gave me an address, so I'm pulling up, and I'm like, I'm in a housing complex. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, but you know the best ones no. be at the house. Okay, no, that's that's, fine, that's, that's what you say, right? So I go in. He got a chair, right? Uh-oh. But then he got this. I don't know if it was a cat or a dog oh, running Lord. around, and literally I see like hair in the oh in, in the, the air. air. Oh, because he had, he was shedding. Oh, he, was shedding. he had like a big light light right in front of the tattoo. I seen hair. I said, yeah, I just wanted you to do a little mock up. Oh, I ain't never go back. Hey, I, no, I, I tell you on that, nigga. I tell you. Well, I start itching. I'm the right. one that start itching like, girl. Yeah, I, I was out of there. there. I start blowing. <laughs> right. <laughs> the hell ain't gonna hit me. Okay. Yeah. Now, now wait a minute Glenn now. Glenn rolling the LI. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was out of there. Yeah, but that's, I that's attempted. Wild. But I really need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, but yeah, I got a kid named Teddy. Right. Yeah. That's hard. Because uh, we was on uh, rhythm and flow together, and like I had met. I didn't. It didn't work out how we both wanted to work out, but we still kept in contact after that. And she was just like, you're so talented. Like, I really just love how you, it didn't discourage you and you want to get in the studio. Like, so she would call me and she'd be like, let me hear the rap you just wrote. Mm. Or make sure you drop your freestyle on Friday. Like, why you ain't post today? What you doing? That's hard, yeah. So it was just like, I got my best friend name right here. Her name is We need to step our game up. Obviously. My best friend, her name is Nani Rich Nani. Don't play with her. She's a rapper too. And she on she on an up and coming period. Mm. And I got Ken because they both they both was like, you know, it really important in my in my career coming up. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you actually make it on the show? 
Um, so I had did like the auditions and stuff like that, and I got flew out to like uh, go actually audition in front of the um, yeah. front of the judges. But then we had been there all day, and it was taking forever to like get people on the stage. And so when it was my turn, we we like walk into the band and like, oh, the crew is tired. Like we can't go past this amount of what? hours. We're gonna have to fly to the next city. And I'm like, huh? I know y'all didn't have me sitting here for twelve hours. Damn. No, the production of shit takes way longer than people know. Um, oh, I know music and, videos. Yeah, well, come on now. They say be there at two. They really mean six o'clock. Like. <laughs> Let's speak on it. And, and, and Ken was, she wasn't on the show neither, was she? No, no. Mm-hmm. It, both, the same thing happened to both of us. That's Because London B is our partner. She was on the rhythm and flow, yeah, right? Yeah, she, she was before yeah. us. Like, it was me, it was me, Ken, Treaty. Wow. Like, a lot like a lot of us that was, like, the people that I stuck with, it was the people who, like, we didn't Regret, make it. Yeah. But they was, like, real cool. Like, they still my friends to this day. That's hard. Can you talk about, like, facing obstacles like that or just feeling like, damn, I wasn't good enough for this to really surpassing a lot yeah. of people? Um, So, at that time, I'm like, dang, like, you know, dang. Like, <laughs> I was going through a lot. You know, I was moving from Indiana, from Atlanta to Texas with my grandmother. Like, mm. like it was just a lot going on. Mm. Like, I was in a space where I felt like I was really by myself, and I was the only person really believing in me. Mm. Um, then I realized, I'm like, maybe it wasn't my time. I ain't had no music out. I ain't know what I wanted to sound like. I ain't know who I wanted to be as an mm. artist, what I wanted to represent as an artist. That's true. Just like, even as a female, like, you know, I was still figuring, kind of figuring my whole, like, situation out. So, really, I just had to find, like, I had to tell myself, like, all right, lock in, tunnel vision. Like, you know what your goal is. You know what you're capable of. You know what you want. So, like, don't let little stuff like that, like, get you down, you know? Facts. Nah, I actually just said this weekend, like, what is meant for you is going to be for you. Exactly. They can't nobody stop it. And how driven we are, we get so hurt when we miss out on an opportunity. But you just got to trust God, trust the process. Right. Because maybe people were perceived, maybe you would have got beat in a battle and looked crazy. Exactly. Or no, I watched the yeah. show and I was like, yeah, yeah. damn one for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Yeah. But like, you, we really got to learn to trust the process. Yeah. Even when it seems like it's not working in our favor. I had to yeah. learn a lot of stuff. Like, even like just freestyling. Like, I was real scared to go in the studio. And like, I always feel like I had to write something ahead of time. Or like, let me hear the beat first, you know? Now I can just go in the studio and like, all right, turn the beat on. Like, if this the vibe, it's the vibe, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some. Like, like, yeah. mm-mm. you know, I had, I had to really like, you know, just like tap in with myself and figure out like how I am as an artist. And I didn't know that when I was, you know, first auditioning for the show, it was just kind of like, oh, I'm a rapper. Yeah, I want to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it wasn't like I didn't know what really come with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's hard. And okay, speaking of freestyles, I do want you still to talk about the Double XL freestyle, but also too, you do freestyles to you know random popular songs mm-hmm. like the Fuck Nigga Free, the yeah. uh, Rap Freaks. Yeah. So you know, with you saying that you wasn't comfortable freestyling, we can't tell. You know what I mean? So so talk about that. Um. So the Double XL freestyle that was like <laughs> she like and you went you went first <laughs> you went first yeah like I I was excited though like they gave us the beat the same day Wheezy beats too. yeah they gave us the beat the same day I'm like oh my god like mm. oh sh- oh wait like, wait wait the same day yeah oh the same day shit they we, gave us the, they gave it to us the same day like we had to like it had different things to do or whatever but they oh. gave it to us the same day and it, it was like it was cool I ate that up you know. For sure. That's just me, though. Okay. Uh, just to be in there with, like, all guys, you know, and I'm the only female. I feel like it was it was only one female each each day, mm-hmm. you know, and it was just like, I'm sure the guys was looking at me like, what this girl going talk about? Of course. But, uh, yeah, when I yeah. did that, I was one take Cali. Okay. For real? Okay, one take Cali, look, period. Let's talk about the takes. One thing people don't motherfucking see be, yeah, yeah, behind be the clear. scenes, like a, a freestyle might sound dope, but it took them 30 tries and everybody, the whole Real. staff is over it. Yeah. But Real. don't play with me. Like, it's literally, dope. I literally go by one take Kelly. Okay, but it comes period. to freestyles, drops. That's all right. Which I need. One take. Okay. Yeah. Period. That's what's up. <laughs> okay. Then, so, um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, so how do you decide which songs you're going to do a freestyle to, though? 
Uh, I just songs I like, whether okay. it's a popular song or not. Like if I like the song, I'll be like, I want to do a freestyle of this. Mm. You know, like uh, I did a what is it? P N. No. Oh P N G. Yeah, P, the what up? What song? up? No, no, P, yeah, P what up? and some. Yeah, I yeah, like you know, sounds like oh, yeah. the new. Yeah, I like I like that song a lot, and yeah. like people around me, like this, he's from Chicago, I think, and so P-N-N. like people around me didn't really know it. They like, oh, what's this song? Mm-hmm. But like, I love that song. Like, how it come up? Like, bitch, what up? Like, yeah. what you mean? Like, yeah. you know, so. That was a vibe for me. Obviously, the uh, Glorilla song, F and F. Everybody was on that. And like I feel like Tasha Chocolate, like, for real. Hey, like, at the hey. time, I was F and F. Okay. For sure. Hey. Before. It's, I'm still F and F. Oh, okay. Yeah, true, 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 true. True, true. Yeah. True, true. It still applies. It still true, applies. True, yeah, yeah. I'm still F and F. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I just, I feel like I could, you know, spin it a little bit. God. Look. Some fire somewhere, y'all. <laughs> Be calm. Okay. okay look. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, at the time I feel like you know I could like add something to it, you know, mm-hmm. or like bring my own vibe to it. Definitely. Um, rap freaks. I thought that was just hilarious. It like, was dope. I was not taking that serious. Like people was just like, oh, she feel like this, or you know, people no. gonna do that shit. I thought it was so dope of your Miami, like. You cannot censor her, like, and I'm all about mm-hmm. that. Like, please don't try to censor me, cause like, even when my song wet, like, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, girls only talk about their pussy, like, mm-hmm. okay, and I'ma keep on, okay, and I'ma keep on, and I'ma keep As on, you should. because y'all mad, and y'all don't want us to talk about it, but y'all want to keep eating them. Period. Yeah. Okay, eating them and beating them. Okay, and, y- right. and, and y'all and y'all act like y'all got them. Okay, You're trying to control them, <laughs> so I'm confused. Okay, you know, nice. so I feel like you know it was just a statement. Like I feel like she made a statement, so I'm like, okay, mm. I'm a rebuttal. That's how I feel yes, about rebuttal. it. You know, That's so hard. let's talk about your single wet real yes, quick. Yes, wet. Yeah. Um, you wasn't holding back, right? She but wrote you, that beat, but you still, but you still young. You 21, right? I'm 20. 22. I'm 22. Hey, 22. I'm 22 and 22. That's two, 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 two. Hey, two. that's how you know she young. When you so when you. <laughs> Excited for your shit. We like, damn, I don't I'm know. I'm 21. I'm 22. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> no, nah, but, um, like, you not a little hesitant, like, talking that shit with your mom and, and, and dad mm-hmm. hearing that? I've I been through them. I've been through that stage already, like, in the beginning. Like, before I even started rapping, they, like, I had an uh, incident where, like, my, my dad, he already, like, he's like, I don't want to listen to it. Like, I yeah. love you. <laughs> I love you. But, like, no. I'd I rather I I respect them that. not. I, I support you in anything you do. Like I know you probably great at what you do, mm. but I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I respect so like that. he he ain't really he he probably heard he like call me and be like, Can you make a song for your sisters? Like I have baby <laughs> sisters. And he I'd be like, No dad. That's, that's not what I want to talk about. <laughs> not right now. They have they have people for that. Yeah. Like, that's nice. not me. Um, but no, I was just like, okay, that's cool, whatever. Like this, I try to check in with him and let him know this is what I'm doing. Like this is be- my dad don't pay attention to nothing. Like mm. so he he don't really care honestly. He just yeah. be like, as long as you're succeeding and you're doing good. Parents just be like, he don't even understand like what's really going yeah. on right now. He just like, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but my mama, she's so tapped in. She's so nosy. Like, she needs to know everything. Gonna be <laughs> mama's gonna do that. She need to know. She watch every interview. Yep. Mom's she gonna do she that. on the radio. Make sure she recorded. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I just heard you at this time. Make sure you That's know. Funny. Like, she on every story. She under every comment. Make sure you, if somebody say something bad about me, going in. Yo, don't play my mama because oh God, she going. She's going to bet. Like she Facts. like she's not even playing with you. But my mama. At, she ain't never been like, oh, you talking about this. It's mm-hmm. more like my like outside family yeah. that just be like, oh, you let your daughter talk about uh, this. Yeah, but course. now it's like, that's my hard though. This is hard. hard. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my like, third cousin. Had to hit him with a uh-uh. Okay. That's like, okay. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy, right? Because my mom just called me because somebody s- said a comment under one of our YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even there yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She called me like really mad, and I said, "Mom, stop reading these comments." For real, I I'm not reading it. Like, don't do it, cause it no, because something about reading comments like really gets to you, really yeah. pisses you off about yeah. like, cause and then you can't explain anymore. Like, you might have mm. commented on 
a one minute situation I explained that really lasted three years. Yeah. But I can't ex- break down to you, but I feel like I need to. I said, Mom, please do not be yeah, commenting right. and it's to like, these people. People don't understand, like, they be like, oh, it's hard, like, to be, like, be an influencer. I mean, it's not hard to be an influencer or it's not hard to be famous, but, like, Shit. it is. Like, you have to be a very strong, strong. individual because yeah. people have an opinion about literally everything you do, how you breathe, how you talk, how you laugh, how your hair is, what you wore today, if you wore it again. Mm-hmm. Like, what you talk about, how you saying it, your voice, like, it's, like, if I break a nail, like, oh, Callie don't got enough money to get <laughs> Right, home, right. It's like, right. girl, you know, like, like, I just got to the interview. <laughs> Dang. Wow, that's, that's that's so how do you handle it? Like you say, you, you don't really read comments? No, at first, I did. Yeah. Mm. But, but I, like I said, I'm pretty I'm a pretty strong individual, so I don't be faced by that, because it's just people that kind of want to be in your position. Who don't have the chance like it's never the people that's on the same level as you talking about you it's always the person who is beneath you don't have nothing bro they be looking stuff. crazy and they want the same type of vibe like they're they have never been in your in your situation or in your shoes mm-hmm. so they have something to say about it facts because if you were in my shoes you'd understand like you know how facts. this goes shit happens Okay. Now, I did want to comment on a wet song. I like how you came in for that first verse. I like how you wrote that beat. You yeah. know what I mean? That shit was hard. <laughs> now, talk about some turns ons and turn offs for Cali. Like, what's some stuff to turn you on? What's some shit that's like, mm mm? Um, okay. I don't like nobody um, under like everybody's likes. Mm. Like, that's a no for me. Uh, I hate repeating myself. So, like, if you didn't get it the first time. <laughs> What You're if they hearing impaired? <laughs> I probably wouldn't be talking to you. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that, but like, not for me. I don't like repeating myself at all. Okay. Um, I don't like the friendliness. Like, mm. I need a me. I need somebody that's mean but really nice to me. Like, yeah. somebody you like, oh, you look so handsome, and you like, oh, thank you. That's friendly to me. I'm so <laughs> sorry. It, I need you to be like this. <laughs> Cause I gave you another compliment today. Okay, period. I gave you your your reassurance today. Okay. Clear. So I'm I'm not really into that. Um, responding to DMs, it's a no for me. Mm. Um, what's another thing? Oh, one of my pet peeves is like chewing. If I can hear you chewing, yeah, that's I why I don't too. like that. Or either. your food. Yeah, that's that's nasty. Turn on the TV. Turn on something. Please I get the. You're Facts. not. You're literally not six years old. <laughs> You're not a child. Please fix it. Facts. Close your mouth. Who I'll raised be feeling you? like I got um, ADHD when they be doing I'll be like, I feel Yo. like it's replaying in your head. Are you yeah. Me, I'm trying to rap to everything, so now I'm making mm-hmm. a beat. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait till you see my. Right. <laughs> okay. The opposite of that was some turn ons. Um, I like somebody that's like all about me. But not too much, though. So it's like, a, it's like a good balance. Yeah, not crazy. You know? Like, don't be thirsty. Right. Like, let's, be... let's miss each other. Like, mm. like, when you with me, like, you all about me. But sure. we, we know we got to go to work and we got this to do. So let's miss each other. Like, somebody who can understand that. Absolutely. I'm, like, in the light. You know what I mean? So I'm Cali. Like, exactly. <laughs> so I just need somebody to understand that. Um, What else? Um, I like the chocolate. Okay. I like a good smile. You know what I mm. mean? Somebody who's tapped in with me, like, like, I make music, so I want you to, like, oh, I heard this, like, I watched this interview, or, like, I heard this song, you know? Yeah. Somebody so in the like industry? That. Yeah. So, okay, so you like when a person know. Okay, word. Yeah. Respect. Just, like, not too much, though. Got you. <laughs> Just a little bit. It <laughs> worked. Listen, See, I don't know if I like No, like, don't call much. me every second, like, I watched this interview, yeah. you said this, and I, I don't like this. Yeah. I would just be like, oh, I see. That's, that was for sure. Joke. Like, I like yeah. that interview. Like, you was talking your stuff. Yeah. And let's leave it at that. Right. Yeah. Done. Don't overanalyze right. the situation. Yeah. Let's just let's just be cool. Everybody be, everybody be chill. What yeah. do you feel like is the most challenging part about being Cali at this very moment? If anything. Um, I feel like it's a lot of female artists coming out right now. So, like, yeah. like standing out. I, I'm honestly trying my best. I feel like I'm doing a good job. For but sure. But, like, standing out as a female artist, it's, it's hard, like, you know? Mm. So I feel like that's the most challenging thing, just making sure I'm staying true to myself and, like, being me and not falling into, like, what everybody else, like, what they want to hear. Like, what do I want to give people, you know? Right. Yeah. 
And I think one thing that stands out about you, obviously, is your hair. I think your hair is beautiful. And I think that was one of the things to me that I was just like, oh, she got, those are real dreads. Yeah. You know how <laughs> we got the faux locks now. I be wearing the faux locks. And you know what and I mean? No shame in my game. Period. But, you know, yeah. but I thought that was so dope. And I thought that was just like a missing, like, representation that True. we just don't see, like, from right. females. Like, you know, so um, let's talk about that. And, and talk about how long have you been growing your hair? I've been growing my hair for 14 years, almost 15 years now. Damn. Um, and how I started, right, I was watching a music video, and this girl, it was like a Caribbean song, and she had like a, like her hair ahead. was to the floor. Hell it yeah. Was real locks, and I was like, mm. I want it. Like, mm. I want that. So my mom took me, and I'm thinking I'm going to have that, like, <laughs> right to away. the floor. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what Lala like, no. thought, too. <laughs> She like, no, you got to let that grow. Mm. And I'm like, no, like, take it out. Like, because mm. my hair was like real short. It was like right here. And I'm wow. like, I'm looking at myself like I'm I'm already getting laughed at. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get laughed at some more. But yeah. I definitely did. But look at me now. OK, Barry. Look at me now. OK, Wait. I'm, I'm a trendsetter. OK, well, uh, how are you when Nuck a few buck came out when Diamond was shaking her dread? So when I when I started drink, shaking my dress, yeah, I was getting called Waka Flocka mm. and Chief Keef. Mm, okay, Chief Keef, yeah, though. Hot Cheetos, all kind oh, of stuff. Like damn. they was really ruthless. So like stuff Kids like that, I wasn't really paying attention to it. Like I mean, it hurt my feelings at the time. Of but, course, you know, of course. It was cool. Now I do it. No, like your yeah. hair looks great. It's short now, but it's past my boo day. Okay. Period. Okay. <laughs> so, so what would be your advice to somebody wanting to grow dress? Like, I feel like one day I want to start my journey. Like a few of my aunts already started the journey, but I'm just not mentally there yet. So yeah. what's what's the advice to? If you if you're gonna do it, don't think about it too much. Just gotcha. do it. Like okay. That's why it's so good for me because I I just said I wanted it and my mama took me and, instead of me thinking about it too much and Salute she like you ain't got no choice like if you're gonna stick to it stick to it like it's a it's a cool journey you ain't gotta do too much to your hair like mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing um I feel like you could, it's now it's so many things you could do with dress that's fact to make you feel like you still doing stuff with your hair like at first it was like oh I like to wear this and I I like to wear I could still put braids in my hair, like with. Yeah. I I do it. Like I be showing girls, like I could still put some weave in this hair, mm -hmm. like to the so my hair touch the flow at the end of my life. Like it's if you're gonna do it, just do it. Stick to it. it don't think about it too much. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fact. You could still rock a wig with some short locks. They could braid it down. That's facts. Lay it down. I ain't did it yet. <laughs> Jonathan want to do it for me, but I ain't done it yet. <laughs> okay. I'm a little scared. Yeah, yeah. I am like, how you gonna hide all that? Uh, that's what I be thinking. He's like, I know what I'm doing. And I'm oh, like, looking like no helmet that's now. Look, that's they I'm gonna be the cutest that. helmet in this end ever. <laughs> okay, period. Okay. Period. What's the what's the biggest learning lesson that you learned about yourself so far? Um I, I need to learn how to save my money. Mm. <laughs> that should be common. Yeah. That should be common. Like, it, I don't know. I like things. Like, I like a lot of things. And, like, you get so much money at, like, one time. Like, you just be like, okay, I'm going to make it back. I'm going to make it back. I'm going to make it back. But then it's just be like, girl, sit down. Like, save your money. You know, you, you want generational wealth. You right. want nice. a wealth for your kids and your kids' kids. Like, if that's your goal, make sure you stick it to it, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, final question. Um, so we ask all our guests at the Progress Support to define the word progress, you know. So what does it mean to you right now? You real progressive. Yeah. So what does it mean to you? Um, just going up a level every day, like, I was going to say progressive. <laughs> I mean, listen, that's cool. It's, it's happened before, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, no, just going up a level every day and just, like, um, manifesting the things that you want and just – creating your own reality, speaking things into existence, you know, just making sure that you're going up um, how you want to. Yeah. Can we uh, expect a deluxe anytime soon for the project? Or something. What's I think up? I'm just going to keep dropping single after okay. single after okay. single after I'm single, that. you know, so I can find something that kind of sticks, you for know? Sure. Yeah. I am mad sure. at that. Okay. Well, Callie, we appreciate your yeah. time. Thank you for Thank coming you. up here and vibing with us. Hopefully ain't the last time. Hopefully you keep coming back. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate you for coming through. Thank for you. Sure. Thank Absolutely. you for having me. This was fun. Absolutely. I'm glad you had a good time. We out. All right. The Progress Report.